Canaan, we are so fortunate that there are organizations with highly talented people who are devoted to really important causes. People need to witness what's going on in this sweet little house in New Canaan. Hang around for 10 or 15 minutes, because a moment of magic will certainly appear. The methodology is called Integrated Music and Art Therapy. It's about taking the power of a nonverbal language like music and art and using it to communicate to children and adults with special needs. We see about 120 people here a week. Any movement from isolation to relationship and silence to expression, I think those two paths for people are very important. They've been able to tap into the souls of these people with disabilities, into their spirits. It's about connection. I get in first through the music and then I help them come out of themselves and then the relationship can begin and then the work can begin. Look what he's accomplished. I have proof that it works. If you can leap to hope, which leads to promise, that is what I think. Arts for Healing is about. At about nine months, he wasn't eating right, and I knew he wasn't making milestones. And I just started doing my own research. We found out that he had a chromosome deletion. We brought the music element to his speech therapy. He processes it, and then he can say it. We're really lucky that the public school system has been reaching out to Arts for Healing and now Arts for Healing is coming and being a part of the public school system, which is huge. Oh, paint. You want to paint? Yeah. To see him improve and to see him being more and more like his peers, it's, it feels so good. It's staggering to see Nico sit down in front of three different instruments to listen to Karen, to process the verbal input, and then somehow translate it into music or into tactile stimuli, you know, gross motor skills, fine motor skills, whether it's on a, on a piano or a drum or a guitar. It's fascinating to watch. It's life-changing. I think it's a glimpse into their soul, into their spirit, and for me, it's a triumph of human spirit. We're embarking on a pioneering study to look at how effective this kind of therapy can be for children living with developmental issues. And to have someone else shine a light on it. Mount Sinai coming in, shine a flashlight on it. What's going on here? They came to our board and laid out the framework for evaluating the work that they do and the importance of having an academic medical validation of their approach. The board was really excited about this opportunity to be part of something groundbreaking. If we can prove the impact of integrated music and art therapy on these children, the mission of Arts for Healing is to create a model of a creative arts center that can be replicated around the country. Anything the community can do, I think, to be part of the experience here makes the families and the children, I think, not feel sort of isolated in some ways. The community can be more, more inclusive and more embracing of the notion that we're all in this together. Parents of special needs kids are so tapped out emotionally, monetarily, and we need help. The vision is, is that all families are one. Be a part of our vision where all families can be one. I want